Finally this morning, looking back at the legacy of President George H.W. Bush. On Saturday, we spoke with his former chief of staff, Governor John H. Sununu, about what New Hampshire meant to President Bush and what President Bush meant to the world. No matter how, how much you anticipate it's imminent uh, when, it, when it does happen, uh, it really does hit you. And the country's lost a, a great president, and I've lost a great friend. Explain what, in your view, uh, he has meant to this country. Certainly you've written a book about it, but um, this is someone who served uh, almost his entire life. Well, he, he cared about the country. He understood it. He knew he, he came from privilege. And uh, yet that didn't stop him. He wanted to give back. Um, he had a, a great history of service. Uh, but, but as president in particular, I think he had a huge impact on the world. Uh, he guided us through a transition that uh, was uh, amazingly smooth, almost made it look too easy. I don't think people still appreciate how complicated it was dealing with personalities like Mikhail Gorbachev and then Margaret Thatcher and, and Francois Mitterrand, who really didn't want the unification of Germany at first. And, 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 and George Herbert Walker Bush managed that whole process. But he also had a huge impact uh, domestically. Uh, his budget agreement produced the first surpluses, even though they happened uh, at the end of the five-year period of the budget agreement in the Clinton administration. Uh, they were George Bush surpluses, and he passed the most significant environmental legislation, the amendments to the Clean Air Act that had been tied up for 13 years, uh, the Americans with Disabilities Act, which certainly has had a huge impact on an important segment of our population, the Civil Rights Bill. Uh, he opened up uh, the process to uh, making America energy independent with his, the Energy Policy Act that he passed and the rules and regulations that he put on the table. Uh, his impact domestically was huge. It, it's gone unappreciated, uh, but I think people are going to go back and appreciate uh, the fact that in one term uh, he passed more domestic legislation than any president except Lyndon Johnson or Franklin Roosevelt. How would you describe his leadership style? Uh, he really had a great knack for uh, recognizing that there were two sides uh, to difficult situations, and, and he worked very hard to put himself in the other person's shoes. He did that with Mik Mikhail Gorbachev, understanding the pressures Gorbachev had from the hardliners. Uh, he did that with Danny Rostenkowski, and chairman of the uh, budget process in the uh, democratically controlled House when we were doing uh, the, the budget. He, he, he worked hard to make everything a win-win success. Obviously, anyone who comes to New Hampshire is tested, and this was already a fairly tested individual through World War II and many different situations, but New Hampshire is different. How did this state shape uh, the, the president who, who would become? Well, you know, he really didn't like the politics of politics, uh, but, but he recognized he better understand how to do it. And uh, what better place to learn politics than uh, running for president in New Hampshire? It's see me, touch me, feel me. And uh, he, he adapted to it pretty quickly. Adapted and thrived. That wraps up this edition of Close Up New Hampshire. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week. Have a great time.